if you ever try to start your bike and go into first and it died because you forgot the kickstand go ahead and click that like and subscribe the first mod i recommend getting if you ever get your bike is tank pads because nothing like gripping a naked wet naked slick tank in a turn i'll tell you what putting tank pads on is a night and day difference of riding yes i know they don't provide any performance gains or anything but as a rider confidence is key to riding especially in those twisties when you're a sport bike rider you're using most of your legs to grip the tank because you're not using your your arms as much believe it or not if you are new to riding and want to get into the sport bike you're actually just loose lightly on the on the on the clip-ons and most of your gripping is with your legs because it takes a lot of energy oh no construction it takes a lot of energy if you put all of your weight on the on the clip-ons and it's kind of a kind of a learning thing you're gonna have to get used to not using the clip-ons as the source of where you put all your weight on so this particular one on my bike has one two three four five pieces so you got two on each side and then you got one down the middle for your tank and they were really easy to install and i believe they were like 60 70 dollars these are the uh tech spec snake skin if i get another bike best believe i am going to get another set of tech specs they don't they don't scratch up they don't rip up your jeans or anything they are pretty grippy especially when you get caught in the rain when you get caught in the rain that it will help out a lot yeah again you can go with the stomp pads grips they come in black or clear i would have preferred these were clear so i could see the red but the problem is because they don't have what the hell the problem with the stomp pads i have is that you would have to you get the universal sheets and cut it yourself if you're if you don't care about that then go for it i just prefer having the pre-cut sheets it's neater cleaner and then uh what is it that's the only thing i don't like about the tech spec because i wish they came in clear now they have different levels of tech spec products project dan on his zx6r has the uh snake skins no i got the snake skins he got the uh x grips or something whatever it's called it's their newest one and those are grippy it's almost like grip tape you got that 10 grit grip tape, grip tape going on it gets dirty really easily because it's pretty much like grip tape and i think they would also get the fuzz off your off your jeans and whatnot yeah i'm just right now i'm grip i'm just naturally gripping the tank like you should on a sport bike and just lightly draping my my hand over the clip clip-ons when you're just riding in the city straight riding like this it doesn't really make that big of a difference but once you uh get into the twisties it makes a ton of a difference oh there it is If you ever feel like you
guys talk about good food that's what a pizza should taste like oh man I had the space cowboy and that that was just so good and the beer oh my god I had like three of those <laughs> that was really good that was a I'm a sucker for lime and citrus type drinks and the limelight drink they had caught my interest and that oh my god that tastes so good I wanted more I love that sour taste but I'm done with lunch now I'm uh, on my way back home Whew. man I feel satisfied that was really good if you guys are in like the Bellevue area check out Resonance Brewery, Pizzeria and Brewery. You will not be disappointed. They make, they, all, they have all their beers there and they have like, I'm more of a porter and stout kind of guy, but I really want to try something light. And that Limelight beer was really good. Next time I come over there with friends, I'm definitely going to give a, the stouts a, a try because that's, that's more my, my speed. Woo! that bump though oh that didn't settle with me good but yeah if you guys are in the Bellevue area check out this little place it's it's kind of a shitty area you kind of I missed it the first few times but man totally worth it So, I'm going to call an end to this video. Hopefully you find that this will be, should be your first modification for your bike. So you can't go wrong with your tech spec or stomp grips. And again, the, the one brand I would stay stay away from is One Design. Even though they cut it to even though 
they do cut it to bike the reviews will say that the glue does not stick even with all the prep work that you've done to it those one designs do not want to stick so I highly highly recommend staying away from those especially when my riding buddy Project Dan got himself a set and they did not want to stick to his bike and they just look ugly and just the quality is just not there compared to like stomp grips or or tech spec my brand would be tech spec because they do they already have sheets cut out pre-cut for your bike unlike stomp grip where you have to cut them to, because they don't have any pre-cut sheets for the Ninja 400. So, you just can't go wrong with any of those. Anyway, I hope you find this very informative to what your first mod should be. Yes, you can get a slip-on exhaust because the 400's very anemic sound is not very attractive. Or you can get rear sets if you want that adjustability to be more aggressive in your in your riding position or clip-ons but in my opinion definitely get those tank pads because you will thank yourself ha, tank yourself a ton when you can grip your your bike when you're going to those twisties if you can do it without the tank pads all more power to you i'm just saying this is just a recommendation educating you on what you should be your first mod anyway signing off and i hope you guys have a good weekend stay safe and have a good ride